Hello, hello, it is me, Valentine Visions, and I'm here with you again, live, with some Heavy Rain gameplay. Last time we left off, we left our characters in some pretty, you know, shaky situations. Poor Norman Jaden succumbed to his drug addiction. Uh, well, succumbed is kind of a strong word. Um, <laughs> he indulged, but we kept him alive. We've also kept Madison alive. And we had one of the most awkward sex scenes ever recorded in video game history, or any history, rather. Like, any history at all. <laughs> Alright, well I do appreciate you guys stopping by. We are about to move forward in the story, so I'm going to go ahead and get us loaded up here. Mr. Scott Shelby. We also had that great flashback of these mysterious two kids, the death of John Shepard, and the ongoing use of his name. Oh, this is going to be a very important one. Very important scene coming up here. Also, who puts doorknobs in the middle of their doors? Is that like a normal thing? Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. Oh, fuck. Honestly, how is she not already dead? In my Lord. opinion. No. No. Shit. Things escalate very quickly in this game, I don't know if you knew. Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Lauren! Probably a bad idea to do that before getting more run out. Oh, oops. <laughs> oops. I didn't save her. <laughs> I guess I, I didn't realize I wouldn't have the opportunity to do that again. Oh, that is such a big oopsie there. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. So Lauren is dead. <laughs> Oopsie. Yeah, she was in the car. Um, Lauren was in the car with me, and I didn't realize I had to uh, save her before I opened, like, before I started kicking open the uh, car window. Like, I got kind of confused which prop was which, and I made a goof. <laughs> One of those instances where, like, if you do the wrong button combination, you'll do something you didn't really mean to do, because you didn't really understand what it was going to do. This is a great sequence, though. I'm 
Terminator status, like right up in here. Makes you feel oh, quite badass. I missed that guy. Oh, well, I guess I'm not gonna get that achievement for being literally Terminator. I goofed. so focused right now. <laughs> oh shit. I missed him. I'm so used to like R2 being my default shoot, so like I've made that mistake twice now. <laughs> Stay back! Don't come near me or I'll shoot! Fucking asshole. <laughs> Please. Oh. Master, Lauren is dead. You fucking killed Stop. her. Stop. I beg you. Actually, I did. <sighs> By accident, I should say. Clarify. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No. No, he's innocent. He's not a yeah, killer. Big man is not very mad. <laughs> Toss on the ground. Uh, oh. Oh. Points for style. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No. Tap into that no, Jack please. Bauer energy. Don't hurt me. Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. <gasps> That's what someone who knows something would say. <laughs> stop. Stop. Sometimes it's often disturbing how it feels to like to hold those buttons and see the action that you're doing. Like especially when it came to like the ball grab scene. It does a good job at translating what that action would feel like by holding those buttons down, but it just it makes it puts you in this weird he held Put you in a weird headspace. Weird, head, we, weird headspace. I'm it sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> an unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy. Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. Oh. You disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? I own the con I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. Mm. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother. His mother, you know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. That girl, Lauren. She was just a whore. You'll forget her in no time. Come on, work for me, Shelby. I'll pay you well. You'll be able to have all the girls you want. But never say her name again. You hear me? Moral dilemma time. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! You need, yes, you could just leave and let him die. But I'm gonna be nice. I've already killed one person this episode. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Thank you. you. You saved my life. I already regret it. <laughs> but 
But yeah, I'm really glad that games like Detroit, like, it's given you a better sense of what your actions are actually going to do instead of leaving it so vague to where you're kind of like, okay, if I do this button prompt or this other button prompt, what's going to happen? It gives you a little bit more of context behind the button mashing, so to speak. Oh, Madison, I'm ashamed to see you. <laughs> Hey, cover your mouth. <laughs> Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Do I gotta? Do I gotta Are leave a, a paper trail? Are you family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Room 19. Oop. Got turned around. Those tank style controls got me for a sec. Snack machine. Fruity fizz. Mmm. Good stuff. It's 219. What room are you? Or room 19. I'm not know why I'm saying 219. Goodness, I'm thinking of the, the hotel rooms. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. I like this woman's performance. She does a really good job. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Hmm. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. 
No one forgets their mother, do they? Man. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Man, I'm struggling. Oh, if it's right analog stick. I don't know why I was doing left. Forgot that this game tries to put your hands in very uncomfortable positions in order to make you feel like you're doing things. <laughs> I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Well, let me see if I can find your favorite one. Hummingbird's cute. I bet that's the favorite. Gotta be. Gotta see what kind of uncomfortable positions am I... Ooh, that's... Very interesting, the hand position I have right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You don't really realize how crampy... Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. <laughs> your hands get when my you're doing these weird love positions origami. like that. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max? 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 All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? We're getting somewhere. Hmm. Maybe I need to do something else. I can't do any more origami here. Give me one moment there, guys. All right, apologies for that quick break. I had to get a delivery at the door. <laughs> Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Hmm. Very adamant that she only had one son. Let's see here. Good if I can check myself out in the mirror. I'm pretty sure there's something to do here with the flowers. Like, I... You yeah. don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Okay, we'll 
Let me go get the flowers in the hall. I think that's what I have to do. Pretty sure. Got a little turned around there. Because I remember them being somewhere up here. There we are. Just going to borrow a single one. That's all we need. That mocap actor's acting for like just standing there taking notes was like oddly good. It was almost creepy. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. We are still getting somewhere. Ooh. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepherd? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really questions. very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. So cryptic. And I love how we're keeping the players in the dark. It's a very rosebud situation here. Because you know exactly what the game wants you to think, right? Like, you have, like, no doubt in your mind what the game wants you to think. <laughs> oh man, that's so beautiful. And man, that effect that's going on with, like, the distortion of the length of the hallway very clever inward dolly like you don't really think about like the particulars of the camera moves and how they work in video games but it's just very cinematic gosh now this is going to be an interesting one I'm going to need some feedback to know what you think I should do the last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address.
you will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. Yeah. <laughs> you can drink the files or decide to leave. The choice is yours. All right, we're just gonna head out. <laughs> because if I do remember correctly, it actually is real. It's not like a fake, a fake poison thing. It is very real. I'll find you, Sean. I'll figure out a way, and I'll come and get you, son. Kind of, sh kind of shitty to find your son and like, yep, nice to see you, buddy, and then just like die. <laughs> I know where, and I'm out of time. Damn fucking shitty letters from this fucking fucking address. Come on, there's gotta be a way to do this. She has to take a gamble. Several different addresses fit these letters. God, they're scattered all over the city. I don't have time to check them all. There's literally no other address that could fit the ones that I have, I think. I'm pretty sure that... I'm not sure what I'm doing. Listening for the rainwater, I guess. I don't know. I think it's that one, I'm pretty sure. I may only have time for one address. If Sean's not there, I'm done. It's a crapshoot. We got it. We got this. I could have swore that was the right one. Oh man, I think I might have screwed up. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of that in this episode. left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours. Now you're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake. 
You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Oh no, drugs. I didn't choose that. I swear, I did it one time, and then now he's just like, bugging out. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data, I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. My guardian angel always tells me. He'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. You can certainly give it a go. Not a very efficient way to, uh... Very skilled with swords. sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. Well, uh... Okay. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Bam. Connection. watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Making progress. For sure. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. I think it's a jump, but... Can investigate further. Hmm. Oh, so that file system was very cool. wish that this was a little bit tighter, like the things that are unnecessary to do. I just really wish it was not an option to do. It the killer is white, age between 30 general and 45. Waste of time. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time.
else is there? in the video. I don't know. Okay, the sword is not important, obviously. So I think I've seen all I can see in the video. Man, like I'm just not sure what to do. I've, I'm more stressed out about this than I should be. Because I having a hard time remembering like how the section comes together and what needs to be done and I'm probably way overthinking it. Oh yeah, I need to stop because I'm bleeding out of my eyes. made a mistake just now, but man. I tried all of like two minutes. <laughs>
Oof. And so things are going to uncover. We're at the uncovering stage of everything. This is such an important sequence. so long ago. As does this, this seems like forever ago too. Shaking now. very controversial thing that pops up a lot of, with a lot of people was because that occurred whenever control was taken away from the player and people have a lot of issue with that because it pushes you to be in these character shoes and do all these mundane actions but yet the moment that something very big like that happens it strips you away from control and I don't think it's particularly an awful, bad thing, because it makes sense for the plot twist and the reveal, but I can't see why people don't like it. So we have just learned that Scott has been the origami killer all along. And that's that's heavy. It's heavy to deal with, and it you know makes sense you know for him to want Lauren dead and you know for me to not you know try to save her because you know she was getting too close. She was getting way too close. But it's sad that she won't get justice. I'm sad that I was not able to save her. For that very reason. Uh, Scott is the detective. So the guy who's been going back behind and investigating the crime has really been going back behind himself and cleaning up loose ends and cleaning up evidence. And I think it's kind of genius there. Man, I am struggling with this lock.
So effectively you've been playing as this killer the entire time, which I think is just a very effective, very effective move. It gave you so many beliefs, so many... I haven't lost your touch, girl. I mean, I have, actually. <laughs> gives you so many red herrings towards Ethan Mars. Origami Killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. uniform. Always dressed a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Oof. Intense stuff. Yep, uh, the detective, the druggy Shit, detective. Need a <laughs> um, just do John. Hmm. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up with rain, slowly drowning him. Oh, there's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Got it. Aha, Max. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. Literally the address Hurry. that I chose. There's no time Literally to Literally 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. I chose that. I am so upset. <laughs> So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Oh boy. Smash. I don't want to screw this up. Yeah. 
time I pressed the wrong button. I am really not coordinated today. I'll show that chair. Yeah, I could try to go out the window. That might be the best thing to do. There's an achievement for uh, escaping by hiding in the fridge. But I really don't want to risk it. It's way too high. Ah. Uh, I'll kill myself if I jump. I gotta find something else. Yeah, don't jump. Honestly, I'm not even sure what I'm doing right now. Jones. I don't think I've ever actually done this option before. <laughs> See, I wouldn't either. I don't think any normal person would. <laughs> Such an outlandish. Call I know Ethan. where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Sean is. He's at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. He's still alive. You can still save him. I'm on my way. Be careful, Ethan. The killer's still out there. I could have called Norman to let him know. But, uh, hope I didn't screw that up. I didn't screw that up. <laughs> All right. Well, I would hate to cut the stream short here, but I know the next part is going to be pretty much the nonstop finale. So I want to make sure I have enough time to go through that um, and process that and talk about that. So I am going to cut it a little bit short for now, and we will be right back on it tomorrow. I'm going to do another stream at 2 o'clock, and we should be able to push through to the end of the game tomorrow. And it's going to be incredible. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing how everything comes together, and I hope it comes together in a positive way. And, you know, I don't end up getting bad endings for everyone. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by, and I really appreciate you joining the stream. And if you do want to watch these on YouTube, they will be available later. I think episode, 
6 should be up now. I am uploading it while I was playing, and I'll be putting this one up very shortly after. But thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.